Oh, forgot the other device. Good morning, y'all. Still getting ready. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Come on in. Thank you so much for being here. Moves so fast some days. I just want to slow it down. Hope you guys are doing well. Just gonna clean the glasses so I can see a little bit better. Put my fudge in on them. And um, let me go get this side-by-side -side camera, which is my iPhone. But welcome, whatever brings you here. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> In. Hi, Maya. Thank you for being here. Anybody who wants to be counted a present, feel free to announce yourself or you can just ninja watch. I got to get our camera, our uh, second camera. I got, good morning, Diana. Thank you for being here. I think it's you that I'm mailing a package to. I got an outgoing package, but anyway, hello and welcome. Good morning. All right, I think we got it. Let me set it up. Y'all like this studio equipment? Adios. Let me know if that's any better. Thank you for letting me know. It's like it needs time to um all right, let's see. I did now. Good morning, DD's here. Yes, yes, we're gonna walk down our first DD and, and um We'll wash our hands. Wait a second. Let me know if it's better now while I clean the counters. I know um, maybe the comments come in late. So let me know okay or not okay. I'm going to clean the counters. I always try to clean before I start. Because y'all see me snacking. Okay, absolutely. We got a package for. For you that needs to go out. So yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, for anybody new here, oh, still choppy. One second. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, let me know if this is any better while I'm cleaning the counters. We're going to get it together, y'all. We always do. <clears throat> so funny to me that you all keep coming back, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Just cleaning. Oh, Diana says, you missed the live yesterday. What did we do yesterday, y'all? I'm here every day and I forget. Oh, the butter board, y'all. I kind of overindulged. Okay. Thank you, Caudel says it's better. Diana says you you love the recipe and you'll make it this week. Yes, you guys. I'm not really like a, you know, big charcuterie board person. I know it's a huge trend, um, but the chef that I um, tagged for the recipe, Erin Short or Emily Short? I'm going to get her name right. I'm going to pull it up. Y'all, she put me in her Instagram stories. <laughs> Oh, we're growing class. We're small, but mighty. Struggle streaming in the morning? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'll show you guys what we made yesterday, and then we're going to do breakfast this morning. I think I'm going to start with coffee. I'm always ripping and running, especially when I have to cook for the boys. But um, 
it's Sunday, so I'll be with you guys for a couple hours, then I'll go to service, and uh, <laughs> you meant the waving hand? No problem. I didn't see it. I lose the comments when I refresh. No problem. No problem at all. Hey, I'm just glad that you all are here. But for anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle healthy cooking class. I am not a professional chef. Clearly, I am not a professional YouTuber. Clearly, I am just a mom and a home cooker. We have two sons, so I'm a boy mom times two. And uh, I've been on a health and wellness journey. Who hasn't? But uh, I'm down 80 pounds. I'm 20 pounds away from where the doctor wants me to be. Um, I love to eat. That's the problem. Uh, and I love to cook. So I share uh, my healthy copycat recipes with you all. Sometimes I cook full flavor for the family. Well, I always cook for the family, but uh, sometimes I stream those for you all. Um, but whatever brings you here, you are most welcome. Let's take attendance, see who we've got here. Dee Dee's in the house. Time for me to wash my hands. We got Maya uh, present and counted for. Hello, my dear. Diana Sanchez is here. Thank you so much for being here, Diana. Got something going out to you. Happy mail coming your way tomorrow. I'll get your tracking label. Um, Caudel, Miss Caudel, it's early for you. I know Caudel is West Coast, so thank you for starting your Sunday morning with me. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy that you're here. If anybody wants to be counted present, uh, feel free to... Uh, announce yourself, or you can always ninja watch. That's fine too. Y'all trying to get it together. I usually don't wear like, what is this crew neck? It's not the most flattering actually. Um, and I'm struggling with the pearls. There we go. Little OCD. Ah, uh, Ooh, Maya says you have your QT coffee with coconut powder, coconut milk powder, ready to watch. All right. Well, let me get my uniform and get started. Let's clean hands. I am so glad you like that coconut coconut milk powder. And for anybody who doesn't know what Maya is talking about, uh, she got some happy mail from me and I will show you what I sent her. If anybody is um, also trying to incorporate more dairy-free items, I love to eat, but I'm moving into a I've moved into sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So that's why I'm your substitute uh, teacher. So uh, we have a lot of fun with it, and I think it tastes good. I mean, my palate has changed, but if you guys tell me you like it, that makes me super happy. I'll show you what Maya's talking about. Okay, so Maya's talking All right, just so just like you can buy powdered milk in the store or wherever you get powdered milk, you can also get powdered. Uh, <laughs> yes, absolutely, Cadell from the West Side. I do remember. I'm old, y'all, but I'm I'm holding on. Yet yeah, holding on. I'm 46. Um, so this is what I have used um, as coffee creamer. This one is a substitute option for you all. I'm not vegan, but I am, you know, I do avoid cow dairy. So if you like the powdered creamers, uh, I've used this before. Um, so you just add water and it can turn into coconut milk. Um, it is good. Maya loves it. I'm more of a liquid creamer. Um, maybe I'm lazy and it just, you know, blends in better. But what I do love this for, for thickening, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever we've done like frostings, uh, some of the plant-based ones are a little bit more watery, so you can put this powder in when we're whipping up like a frosting or a whipped cream. This is a great uh, dairy-free thickener, and zero sugar, yeah. So I try to say sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So this is what Maya has. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I think the link should be in my cheat sheet. Uh, which is in the description, but let me know if you don't see it. And I'll show you guys what Diana was talking about, what we made yesterday.
All right, so in case anybody missed, I hopped on a trend, and Maggie is not trendy. Y'all know I'm not cool. Um, but there is a trend called a butter board. I had never heard of it, but it um, is kind of a play off the charcuterie board, which is basically a cheese board, cheese plate, but you can add all kinds of you know nuts and fruit and crackers and stuff to it. But now they're making them with softened butter, and then you can scoop it up with bread or whatnot. So y'all, we made yesterday the butter board using my goat's butter to avoid dairy and then we made the flat bread from low carb love it was good i kind of overdid it i'm not gonna lie it's a great like presentation if you're hosting um so there was maya with the coconut milk diana was talking about yesterday let's see if i can show you guys and I did post on my Facebook, my Instagram, my YouTube community uh, section, and um, somewhere else, I can't remember. I don't know if y'all can see this. All right, so you can see this is, so that's the flatbread that we made in the back. So that kind of was like our substitute version for naan. And then you can see, this is just a wooden cutting board that I have, the one with the paddle. And uh, we've got softened butter. She used walnuts, chopped walnuts. I didn't have walnuts, so I used my granola, which had almonds in it, my um, monk fruit granola drizzled with uh, keto honey, so sugar-free honey, lemon zest, and some flaky sea salt. But y'all, let me give the original chef credit because she put me in her Instagram stories, which is so exciting. Yes, short cooterie. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's just me. And I get excited. But I want to make sure that I give the proper credit so you guys can see. All right, Erin Short. So this is Erin um, Short. This is her Instagram. She is a charcuterie maker. So I guess you can like order them. Hey, she's West Coast, uh, California. So she makes these. Um, charcuterie boards and then you can order them and pick them up and in her Instagram stories is Maggie okay that's enough but thank you all thank you all for being here yeah you've never heard of it I've never heard of it either hi keto diet thank you so much for being here if you want to hop on over to um YouTube Yes, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. You can see the side-by-side, -side, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna make a coffee. Maya's got coffee, I'm gonna make a coffee, just a simple one. I'm out of my coconut whipped cream. And then if you guys saw the thumbnail, I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich today. I did not know, and you know, I was just looking at Google Images, but y'all, I didn't know that Burger King had these uh, maple waffle sandwiches. I kind of had, you know, I got some sausage in the uh, grocery giveaway box and I've been kind of craving like a breakfast sandwich, you know, like a play on a bacon, egg and cheese. So we're going to make chaffles, um, which is our gluten free waffle, dairy free for me too. Um, sausage, goat's cheese, egg. Oh, I had a grocery delivery, y'all. I'm going to go grab it. And um, yeah. We're going to take our time and have a good time here. We're all going to, we're going to do it all on the dash. So let me go get my groceries from the front. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to give you guys some music. Here I come. Close the door well.
All right, y'all. Hey, Richard. Richard is always here watching. All right, since Richard is looking, y'all know I'm a big fan of the grocery delivery services. Um, this is Walmart Plus. You can check out in the description. I do have, I think, a discount code for you guys, but they are Amazon Prime, Walmart Plus, Ship. All of them, they help me stay on track by only ordering what I need because I know I'm bad with impulse shopping. Spend too much money and buy too much snacks when I'm in the store because we all eat with our eyes first. So I'm gonna put this stuff away, um, but I'll show you guys. The, uh, this seems to be a fan flavor over here, but this is their black cherry, um, I guess like sparkling water. So it's kind of like a diet Sprite kind of thing, but this is just Walmart brand, Walmart brand, zero sugar calories and all that. Um, I'm not a big soda drinker, but I do like a good sparkling water. So this is something that I keep in my secret fridge. Um, fresh blueberries. I was thinking, that was the other thing. I was thinking we would make like Maggie cakes. I know some of y'all are new and you haven't seen Maggie cakes, but uh, the fruits that I eat are the low sugar fruits. So for me, apples, citrus, and berries. Um, I love garnishing with blueberries. I like cooking with blueberries. So that's for me. Just for me. Oh, Dee Dee says, you're not alone about eating good tasting food. Oh no, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Don't don't even worry about it, y'all. When I refresh, when you tell me the audio is choppy, I literally, because I'm in a browser, I literally, literally go to the browser and I click the circle thing to refresh the screen. And so hopefully when it comes back and the sound is better, any comments that were there, they're gone. So I didn't even see them. So if you guys ever post anything and I don't respond, feel free to copy and post it again. Uh, spam me with your questions or you know your recipes or what you want me to try because a lot of times when I'm heads down, you know, I'll miss it. So I try. Oh, thank you, Caudel says, uh, congrats on the Aaron connection. Yeah, I didn't even know. So that's her uh, page, Short Cuterie. I think that's a cute name, Short Charcuterie. So yeah, we are growing, y'all. Maggie's a substitute teacher, is seven months old, and I'm growing because of y'all. It's a labor of love. This is not for me. I bought this for the kids. They were in my fridge using my ketchup. And yes, I said my fridge. Y'all know we got new appliances. We have a scholar who blessed me beyond imagine. My microwave went out and not only did um, our scholar, Mr. Option One, replace the microwave, he replaced the whole kitchen, y'all. So we have a new beautiful side by side. I don't know, y'all, do y'all wanna keep, do you wanna keep this angle? You wanna see, you know? Eh. But we have a beautiful new fridge. And so I kept the old fridge because there was nothing wrong with it. And I put it in the garage and that's where the kid stuff is. And they said, we don't have ketchup. You do now. Leave mine alone. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna go in the kid's fridge. Thank you all for being here with me. I'm silly most days. This is not for me, but you know, this is just to show I do keep all of the regular stuff in the house, even if I don't use it. And sometimes that's a struggle. So honestly, having a separate fridge with their stuff is gonna be great to get me, you know, to stay on track because I wanna get the rest of this away. Oh, we're gonna get it off. We're gonna get it off. We're gonna get it off. So if you have teenage boys, you know how they eat cereal. So yes, I keep regular gallon milk in the house. This will go in the boys' fridge. And then for them, just regular ranch dressing. Uh, you all know condiments and beverages. Beverages and condiments. So for the boys, regular milk and regular ranch and regular ketchup. And then I'll show you what I use. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for saying that, Dee Dee, because I'm like, why am I unboxing? Do y'all even really care? Y'all are here for the, you know, for the Burger King, but this is really just me in my kitchen. And when the groceries come, I put them away. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys like it. 
So I'll bring you guys back over here so you can see our, our double doors and I'll show you my uh, substitutes. It's beautiful. I'm trying to keep it like public, right? Trying to give you guys some options for substitutes. I thought I had a ranch I wanted to show you. Uh, we'll find it. All right, let's clear up our space. I'm gonna look for one other place. I wanna show you guys, I always like to give you guys the substitutions that I use that have helped me. I am not the food police. Please eat what works for you. But um, this channel has really been you know, my journey trying to find things that I have to eat that I want to eat. Cause y'all know not all this stuff that is healthy tastes good and I'm not gonna suffer. Oh, you enjoy it, yay. Thank you. I'm coming, put the plastic bags away. I'll give you guys some music. I'm just listening. Lead Le attorney's like, no dead air, no dead air. One second, I'm gonna look for that rant. I didn't find it, but here's what I wanted to show you guys. So as far as my journey and the substitutions, you know, so this is what I have for the boys, like regular milk, you know, just full dairy milk, even 1% or 2%. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, when I got my food sensitivity test results, dairy came up on there. And so all the milk and cheese and uh, cream and yogurt and half and half, I had to move away from that. So what you'll see me using as my substitute is almond milk and I always go with unsweetened. So try some of the plant-based milks if you want to. Um, if not, that's fine. If you can have dairy, have some for me, but you'll see me using almond milk. Um, there's lots of other op options, y'all, but I always go with the unsweetened because even the plant-based milk, some of the flavored ones, they have extra sugar. And so I go with unsweetened and then I use my sugar-free sugars. So that is one substitute that I use. Hi, Qual. Thank you for being here. Feel free to hop on over to YouTube. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, and you can see the side by side. All right. So then for the boys, they have just regular Walmart or Hidden Valley Ranch. If I'm doing wings for them, um, they like to dip it or... They don't eat too much salads, but mainly, mainly wings. I was looking for my Walden Farms Ranch. I didn't find it, but you all know that um, this one, it says Russian dressing, but they have ranch and Thousand Island. These are my substitutes. So this is a sugar-free, calorie-free, fat-free, gluten-free brand that I use for uh, salad dressings. Y'all see me use their syrups. Maybe we'll use their syrup today, but this would be a substitute I would make. So if the boys are having, if we're all having wings, the boys can use regular ranch and then I can use like a calorie-free ranch. And then I just wanted to show you guys this because this is what I use, the Heinz uh, no sugar added ketchup and the boys can have regular ketchup. You know, I mean, I got two teenage boys, they're 13 and 15, and one of them is a swimmer and one of them is in a bike club. So when I tell you all I do is cook, 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 no matter what, they have food on their minds, they can never get enough. So one of the things that I try to show you guys when I'm cooking for the family is that you can cook some of the same foods. And even if you don't, you know, you're not ready to make any like big changes, beverages and condiments are a huge place where you can make some small changes. Eat the same stuff, have a burger, have the chicken wings, um, but maybe try a sugar-free ketchup or a calorie-free uh, dipping sauce. Um, 
that's a great way for me to stay on track. So I just like sharing it with you all. That's all. All right, so let's put their stuff away. Put my stuff away. We're gonna make a simple coffee and then we're gonna make that uh, waffle sandwich because team greedy over here. <laughs> But I know sometimes y'all like to screenshot, so I always want to share with you. Hi, Diary of Bell Rose. Thank you for being here. You're welcome to hop on over to YouTube if you want the side-by-side. -side. Hey, you're so welcome. Oh, thank you. All right. Speaking of coffee, I think I'm going to make something a little bit fancy yeah. just because I'm out of my whipped cream, but um, it's that time of year. Do I have my... It's okay. I know the top of here it is. All right, so my Keurig has a whatever this is, like a frother that you can put milk or cream or whatever you want in and it'll heat it and it will froth it. And so it kind of turns into foam. I have this like mechanical one. So my Keurig is over here and then this thing sits next to it. You can also accomplish the same. <laughs> okay, Diary of Bell Rose, no problem. You can also use whatever this is called. I think it's called a milk frother. I don't know. Um, you can do it by hand too. It takes a little bit longer, but it's not the end of the world. So just something to have a little bit of fun. Um, so let's see, what am I gonna put in here? I'm not a barista, but I play one on YouTube. Here she is, Diary of Bell Rose made it over. Thank you for stopping by, my dear. All right, so again, with the plant-based uh, creamers, I love half and half, but half and half doesn't love me. So this is another one that I use, Calithia Farms. This is a uh, an almond milk, so another dairy-free creamer. Um, I'm always honest with you guys. Sometimes the plant-based substitutes are a little bit you know, more watery, not bad, but it takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to that full, like creamy mouth feel. So, uh, feel. so what I like about the barista blend is that it's a little bit thicker. I wish it was a little bit thicker. All right, and it says steams remarkably. Well, aren't you fancy? So I'm just gonna pour that in here. I use this from time to time, it's Sunday, so I'm gonna take my time, but y'all can see there's some lines in there. And then I just rinse this out between uses. So I fill it up to the line because I'm greedy. There are two lines, but I'm gonna fill it up to the top. And then we're gonna put it on the we're gonna put it on the frother. Scholars, we have a new student in class. Mondo Ray Moore says, Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, sir. Thank you for being here. Um, everybody say hello and welcome to Mondo. All right, so I'm gonna put the Keurig top on here, and then I'm gonna set this on the uh, sidekick of my Keurig and there's a button that you press right here and then it just kind of foams it like auto magically. So I will show you guys kind of what it looks like while we make our coffee. And I usually do it twice because I want it extra foamy. All right, I'll let you guys choose. I have two coffee flavors. I bought a variety pack. I know, it's extra. Some of y'all say it's not even coffee, okay? I like it light and sweet. Have it your way, Burger King. Ha, speaking of Burger King, we're doing a Burger King recipe today. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Maggot. No problem. Y'all, in my class, feel free. Say what you want, type what you want. Um, we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Uh, but yeah, um, you're not gonna give me marks off on spell check over here. I understand, because y'all, I mess up all of the time. But yeah, come late, 
leave early, multitask, all are welcome in my class. All right, so we got a couple flavors here. I don't know if y'all have a, uh, a choice. We can either do a vanilla cream puff coffee flavor or cookie dough, so delicious. Um, so these are what I have. Uh, French vanilla. <laughs> Okay, we'll do the vanilla cream puff in honor of Mondo. So Mondo says, uh, you want caramel macchiato? I had some syrup. Let me see if I have any. I think I might have used it up, but we'll use the vanilla. We'll do a vanilla, vanilla cream puff. So let me get my coffee mug. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use a wide one. So hopefully this works out and y'all can see. So I just have a regular mug. Of course, my Keurig is out of water. So have I mentioned yet, this is not a real cooking show. <laughs> It's just Maggie in the kitchen. I'm a one-man band. Okay, so as always in my coffee, I always start with alkaline water. Uh, my, test my test result said I needed to drink more alkaline water. You can buy it. I think it's expensive and heavy. I'm not carrying those bottles. You can also make your own. So this is in the cheat sheet in the description from Amazon. Alkazone, these drops will turn tap into alkaline water without uh, changing the taste. So I just put a couple drops in there. And uh, what else do I want? Oh, we're going to do the vanilla flavor for Mondo. So these are my skinny syrups. This is the pocket size, our zero calorie flavor bursts. We have pumpkin, we have mocha, we have caramel, we have vanilla. Um, so you guys can see, I do have a discount code for you in the class notes. So I have the big bottles of skinny syrups. I have so many of them. But um, these I keep in the car, I keep in my purse. Whenever I'm out with the kids or anytime I order a coffee, when I'm out, I always order unsweet and then I sweeten it myself. So this is highly concentrated. A little goes a long way. Again, it's skinny syrups and you don't need um, to refrigerate. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit. You can hardly tell. Do it to taste, but then we're going to go into the Keurig and we're going to brew the coffee black into the sweetener and the alkaline drops. Oh yeah, zero calorie. We make it good, but it's still healthy. <laughs> and y'all, I am not a doctor. This is just what I do on my journey. So please do what works for you. All right, so you can see our um, almond milk creamer has kind of uh, foamed up a little bit. And it's um, a little bit warm to the touch, but I'm gonna do another cycle. Again, you can use one of these to froth it if you want to. I'm gonna set that back on. Ooh, I smell the vanilla. It's been a while since I've made one of these. I think I do the foam first, so we may change our um, our mug. Maya says, Maggie, I also ordered and received the Swerve Confectioners and granu Granulated Sugar. Super sweet and a little goes a long way. Oh, thank you for saying that. I'm glad you liked it. I'll show you guys what Maya is uh, talking about. I 
don't think I have the um, granulated, but if you guys want a sugar-free sugar, -free sugar um, I don't say this as much anymore, but I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have elevated cholesterol and I used to have borderline blood pressure. All of that is normal now with no medication because of the changes that I've made and of course the 80 pounds down, 20 more to go. But this is one of the sugar-free sugars that we use, Swerve. Uh, the confectioners is the powdered sugar. We use that in a lot of our baking stuff. Um, there's one that says granulated. That's like the sugar crystals. That's a good substitute for table sugar, a zero calorie option. And this one is made from erythritol, which is a plant-based um, natural sweetener, and it doesn't spike the blood sugar. So that's a good substitute for you all. I'm glad you liked it. Okay. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep my foam. This one didn't foam up as much, but let's see. Y'all know I like it light and sweet. Uh, I'm not gonna get as much foam on the top. Yeah, this one didn't foam. I was hoping to get the foam on the top. <sighs> At this point, it's fine. Let's taste it. Oh, mama. It's so good. Oh my God, did it lock up on us? Let me rinse this out. Okay, it's coming back. Sometimes my camera does that. I'll give you guys a, no, we put the lemon in the True Whip. Okay. So we got our vanilla, vanilla uh, puff coffee. I have been ratcheting long enough. Wrong word, I'm not ratchet. You know what I meant. I've been like talking long enough. Let's get started on this um, Burger King. I'm just cleaning out our frother. But this is the paper sack brown color that I like for my coffee. If you're a coffee snob and this is not coffee to you, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Mm, that's how I like it. That's how I like it. And you can make it. Okay. So let me know, has anybody, y'all saw the thumbnail, has anybody seen a maple waffle sandwich at Burger King? I think this picture that I grabbed was old, so maybe it was something that they tried a while ago and maybe it didn't do well. Maybe it's in certain areas. I have never seen one, but we are going to make one. So let us get our batter, our ingredients out, and then we will cook and assemble. Yeah, I'd love to know if anybody's ever had the Burger King waffle sandwich or made one. Uh, let me get my uniform. Sorry, y'all, I have quite the apron collection and they were all tangled up. We do have a Zazzle store. Feel free to check it out. We've got Maggie merch there if you're interested. Aprons are about $20. There's always a discount code. You can customize them for free. They come in many different colors and styles. And um, yeah, that's what I'm uh, wearing in the kitchen. So you can check that out in the Zazzle store. We have three sizes. We have, you see the tag on pearls, it's gonna be a problem. Um, we have long, standard, and kid sizes. So you guys can check that out if you would like. Okay, so for our waffle, which is going to be the bread of our sandwich, it's gonna drive me nuts. Um, we're gonna make a chaffle, and a chaffle is an egg and cheese waffle. So it's a two ingredient, um, grain free, and for me, dairy free uh, waffle. I've made them before, but um, we're gonna do it again, no problem. Uh, all you need are eggs, 
and the shredded cheese or melting cheese of your choice, okay? All right, so I think we're gonna do, since Alex is here and the greedy gong gongs always seem to come around. Um, who made the apron? So Dee Dee has a question about the apron. I designed it, but Zazzle produces it. So I have a store uh, where you can see, um, once I had the logo made, I'm not sure if you're talking about the, the logo. If you're talking about this logo, oh, wrong one. Same thing, but. So we had that logo made first. I used, um, uh, what's it called? A freelance artist, like, why can't I see me? Um, a freelance artist on Fiverr to kind of create something that uh, looks like Maggie. And um, from here, we had this version made. I know some of the men who follow my channel may not want that cartoon character lady on there. So I had the logo made first and then you guys can go just like Vista print or any of those places where if you have a logo, if you have an image, you can upload it on their inventory. So Zazzle is the store that has, um, let me pull it up again. And I think the link is in the description, but Zazzle has aprons and mugs and t-shirts and you know, all of that stuff. And so I took my logo and then I had it put on the merchandise. And so if you guys go to the website, you'll see the whole Maggie store there. We got new stuff coming for the holidays and uh, you can order and they ship it directly to you. So hopefully that answers your question. Let me know if that wasn't clear. But yeah, Zazzle.com is where the aprons come from. All right. And good morning, Mondo. Thank you so much for being here. Oh. Happy to answer the question. All right, let me turn the air down. I'm hot because I'm old, so uh, and I'm drinking coffee, and we're gonna get started on our chaffles. I think we're gonna have to shred again. All right, so I am going to be using whole eggs for my chaffles. You can do this with egg substitute. If you don't have whole eggs, this will work with the pourable eggs in the carton. If you're vegan, um, for any of my vegan scholars, you can also use the just egg, which is the pourable plant-based egg, but I am going to use whole eggs. So if you're going to make one sandwich, which is two slices of bread or two chaffle stack, you need one egg and cheese. How much cheese? Enough. How much cheese is enough? I don't know. I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like. We want it thick and we want it chunky. Not me. We're going to get the weight off. We want our waffle batter thick and chunky, okay? Since I'm going to make two sandwiches, I need four pieces of bread or four waffles, so I'm gonna use two eggs, okay? So basically, one egg per sandwich. So let's see if I can crack it. <laughs> oh well, crack it in here. I'm scared, y'all remember I broke it on the counter, I was so mad. All right. That doesn't really help as far as avoiding the shells, see? One day, y'all, one day. All right, so. You can make these sweet or savory. Oh, you love the logo? Thank you. Uh, Diary of Bell Rose, do you like the um, this Maggie? 
Every time I look at it, it's so funny. It looks like me. We even got the pearls and the red lip and the red nails. And these are like a little blue purple frame. Oh, y'all. And so cute. It cracks me up every time. Sorry, y'all. Silly. It's the little things. Okay. Oh, we don't have shredded cheese, so we're going to have to shred it. So I just have two eggs. I'm going to set that off to the side. If you already have shredded cheese in the bag, that's fine. Use it. It's not the end of the world. I shred my own cheese for two reasons. Um, the goat's cheese that I'm using to avoid cow dairy. So this is a cheddar cheese made from goat's milk for me. If you can have dairy, use regular cheddar, mozzarella, Colby Jack, Mexican, whatever shredded cheese you want. Um, so I have to shred this. But just so you all know, they do add some extra ingredients into the bag shredded cheese to keep it from clumping together. It's not the end of the world, but uh, if you want to eat as clean and natural as possible, you can avoid those ingredients by shredding yourself. I know. Trust me. I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm just going to shred the whole thing. I may use the whole thing since I'm making four. I may not. But let's get our salad shooter. Another struggle kitchen appliance. <clears throat> you can shred by hand, no problem. I'm using the salad shooter. Uh, link should be in the description in the cheat sheet. This came from Amazon. But this lets you, it's just a gadget that shreds really fast or you can use that uh like the thing they have at uh olive garden the y'all know what i'm talking about if this were a proper cooking show i would have everything assembled in place clearly it is not And I'm back. Sometimes the struggle kitchen, oh, things happen. All right, so let's move the blade. Let's see if I can assemble my salad shooter. Y'all know I struggle. so easy to take it apart and put it in the dishwasher and then I'm like um it's supposed to snap in the place and I don't want to break it there we go all right so we got that assembled it comes with different blades this is the one for shredding goes in here and here and then when we turn it on, the cheese is going to go in there and that's going to shred it. And I'm just going to put it in. I'm just going to put it in a big bowl for now. Let's move our eggs out of the way. And our sausage. All right. Again, if you already have shredded cheese, skip this step. All right, so we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna plug it up. Make sure it's turned off. Safety first. Kids can help with supervision. All right, so anyway, y'all can see when you turn it on. And now I'm getting Uh, every day I want this to be such a good, elegant experience for you. And it's not. 
but we're here. Shall we begin? We shall. I'm gonna go ahead and shred the cheese. Hopefully y'all can see into the bowl. So one is done and then I'm going to do the other half. So again, when you're doing chaffles, you can use any melting cheese of your choice. Uh, I am using a goat's cheese, but you don't want to use the creamy goat's cheese. Save that one for the Maggie cakes. For the waffles, you want them to have a little bit more structure. You want them, <laughs> living out loud is here for the crispy edges. You want them a little bit um, firmer, or at least I do. Um, so the drier the cheese, the crispier the waffle. So if you use like a Parmesan or for me a Manchego or a sharp cheddar, that will give you a stiffer waffle. If you use like a uh, mozzarella or like a Colby Jack, a smoother, softer cheese, it'll be more cakey. Okay, thank you for the support. Diana says this is live and we love it. I appreciate y'all saying that. So again, this is what I'm using. This is cheddar cheese made from goat's milk. So this is how I stay dairy free. So that's a substitute for me. Leclerc, you can find at Whole Foods. You can find at Sprouts, which is a farmer's market in my area. You can also buy online. There is a, uh, and this is also in the class notes, there is a dairy in Wisconsin called Ben Wheat, and they will ship for free. If you wanna buy in bulk, they'll ship for free on ice, like $50 worth. Chocolate Solution is here. Hello, sir, thank you so much for being here, as always. All right, so we've shredded our cheese, so this is just my goat's cheese. Um, I think it tastes better and it melts better without the extra stuff, but hey, use what you have, y'all. We all start somewhere. Ah, oh, Miss Caudell says, I bought the same brand of shredder. I truly appreciate the demonstration. I haven't used it yet. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for saying that. So Miss Caudell bought the salad shooter. It's not difficult, y'all. I'm just on the struggle bus when it comes to mechanical stuff. Okay, our camera went out and I'm back. Um, I am not good at assembling stuff together. It's okay. Hey, Mom. Hi, Alex. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, guys. I'm Alex. I'm ready to go to church. Okay. Well, I'm not done yet. I got about an hour. I'm making some waffle sandwiches. Your oven or your stove. Thank you. All right. Chocolate solutions. <laughs> I love. That's just life. We make the best and work it out in the end. Absolutely. All right. So I took the blade out. I'm eating the kitchen snacks. Now, goat's cheese is an acquired taste. I'm coming. Miss Caudell, I was interrupted. Um, I don't want to waste. Team greedy. Goat's cheese is a little bit drier. Um, it has a little bit more of a funk to it, kind of like a sour cream or a blue cheese. <laughs> They're saying, sup, Alex? <laughs> yeah. That is the baby. The other one is... Two teenage boys, that's all I can say. Um, yes, I'm over here eating the snacks. Oh, hey, Cook, thank you for being here. Feel free to join us on YouTube if you want to see side by side. Um, so the goat's cheese is drier. Um, it's got kind of like a um, sour cream, blue cheese taste to it. I like it, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's an acquired taste. The boys do not like it, but it's a but it's a good substitute for me. All right. So yes, Miss Caudell, so this is the safety that keeps your fingers away from the blade. So everything, this can go in the dishwasher, the blades go in the dishwasher, and then this little piece comes off, and I put this in the dishwasher. So all I do is wipe down this part. Everybody's saying hi, Alex. Oh my goodness. Sorry, y'all, I know that's loud. Alex has a name in our class. He is the... Do you want to intro we want to tell everybody what your name is? I'm the substitute taste tester because my job is to eat everything and rate it. Eat everything and rate it? Yeah. Okay. Rate it. Okay. 
Thank you. I'm sure you'll be back when the food is ready. What you making? Waffle sandwiches. Waffle sandwiches. All right, can I get started, please? Oh, you haven't started? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, and ten. Why don't we get started, class? All right. Waffle batter. Y'all. Y'all. Okay. So welcome to my cooking class. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be making chaffles, which are my gluten-free, dairy-free substitute for waffles. So it's a two ingredient recipe. All you need are eggs and cheese. Have I mentioned yet I am not a professional chef and this is not a proper cooking show. All right, so I have two eggs here. <laughs> God's girl, thank you for being here. Uh, good morning, you came just in time. We're just getting started. So I have two eggs here and I have um, shredded cheese. So what I'm going to do, you can go ahead and beat the eggs. I'm gonna try and show y'all properly. I just put the stuff in there. So you can go ahead and break your eggs if you want to. You can make these sweet and or savory. We're gonna do a sweet version today since this is a waffle sandwich. If you wanna do savory, you could add other optional ingredients like um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, Italian seasoning. We've used these as pizza crust before, uh, but if you wanna do sweet, you can do like vanilla, sweetener, um, oh, so many options. Ah, Cadell loves that goat's cheese taste. I know, right? All right, so here's the deal. You know what eggs by themselves look like, right? Very liquidy. I don't know if that's a word, I just made it up. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a stew consistency, not a soup consistency. So I literally just put like two big pinches or handfuls of cheese into the egg and then I mix it and I'm looking to see, is it still kind of like jiggly? If it's moving around this much like this, this is gonna make my waffles more eggy. If I want them more crispy, I want to add more cheese. I'm here for the crisp. All right, so keep putting it in. You can just do pinches. It's probably for one egg, it's probably a half a cup of cheese. For two eggs, maybe a whole cup of cheese. Um, and the other thing that's great, so this is no grains, low carb, um, and it keeps you full, especially if you're using a good cheese that's approved for you. Um, this could be your vegan cheese, it could be any of that. So this is looking kind of good. So you see when I move it, it's not as soupy as before. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Um, oh, since we're doing maple waffles, that's all you have to do. You can just do it plain. If you want to do extra, you can. So since this is a maple, what is this? A maple waffle. I have some maple extract, completely optional. You could cook it just like this, but I'll do... Not a full cap full because these extracts are pretty strong. So, and I'm not really a big maple flavor person, um, but it's, you know, it's fall y'all. It's that time of year. So put a little bit of maple in there. We'll use maple syrup to dip them into. What else could you put in here? Um, let's do a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. I have taught both boys to cook, just like mom taught me and my brother how to cook. They say, mom, it tastes better when you do it. But uh, stuff is not always where I put it back. These spices are completely optional, but I just try to go with spices that are gonna go in the flavor of what we're making. So since we're doing like a waffle maple sandwich, um, a little bit of cinnamon. You guys can play around with it. If you're doing savory for pizza crust, it could be oregano, it could be Italian seasoning, whatever. Just some dollar store spices, nothing fancy. Mm. All right, so we got a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Wait, did I put any sweet? No, let me put... Mm. 
the same vanilla that we put in our coffee, the skinny syrups, I'm gonna put a little squeeze in here. That way I get the sweet in the waffle batter, in the sandwich itself, and not just in the dipping syrup. So play around with it. Pumpkin spice comes to mind. I thought about that. Okay, I will let y'all choose. So I have both. I have pumpkin spice skinny syrups or vanilla. So for our maple breakfast sandwich, what should what flavor should we put in the uh, waffle batter? So we could do a pumpkin spice maple or vanilla maple. We already have this in here. Diana says pumpkin spice. All right, you got it. So let's put just a little squeeze in here. All right. So you guys can play around with it. Again, these are the ones that I order directly online um, this time of year. This one is seasonal. Um, I think Mocha is coming out next for the holidays. But yeah, buy your coffees, buy all that stuff, but use um, sugar-free syrups. You can save a lot of calories. Okay, so we got our cinnamon, we got our nutmeg, we got our maple flavor, and we've got our pumpkin spice sweetener. Our waffle batter is ready. <laughs> Kadel says pumpkin for the season. You got it. All right, so let me get my Mac Daddy waffle maker. Oh, let me go ahead and get the dash ingredients because we're going to do everything right here. You haven't started yet? Oh, no. Mondo says no pumpkin <laughs> Okay, sorry, Mondo. I'm gonna have a sip of your vanilla coffee to, to settle your tummy. Pumpkin spice is one of those, either you love it or you hate it, but I understand. But y'all, that's what I love about like this community. Like food is so subjective and we all have very strong reactions to what we're eating. And uh, I love the, um, the passion that you all bring to what you like. I'm just gonna wipe the counters down again since we had some raw egg. And um, I do like pumpkin. Um, what else? What else are the very um, uh, polarizing ingredients? Some people love cilantro or they hate it. I love cilantro. I know we had an iced coffee war with Dottie from the UK. She hates iced coffee. I like iced coffee. What else are people very passionate about with food? Oh, Mondo says it's even worse if we used hazelnut. Oh no, Mondo. I know I have one over here somewhere. I won't use it today, but... I won't waste time looking for it, but I know I have a hazelnut syrup. Oh, cilantro, yes. I love cilantro, I love garlic. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. All of those are very polarizing, right? All right. I'm just gonna put a towel down because sometimes um, my devices can overflow. except for this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna get everything out and then I'll show you guys what we have. Okay, I have quite a collection and this is just half of them. So y'all, I'm a big fan of the Dash appliances. I mean, of course, I love to cook, especially on our brand new kitchen. Thank you, Mr. Option One. But if you're traveling or if you don't have access to a kitchen, I know we have some military who watch. I know we have some travel nurses who watch. If you're in a dorm room, hotel, the Dash appliances, our little plug-in grills and griddles, I absolutely love them. Y'all, none of this stuff is sponsored. This is me just buying them. You can get these Walmart, Target, Amazon. There's a link in the uh, cheat sheet. They have 
grills. The grill has the lines, you know, left and right like a grill. They have the, I know I need to clean it, y'all. They have the um, griddle, which is the flat one. And then they have the waffle maker. I'm going to use the square one. No, we'll do the round. I'll do both. Oh, no, we're not. Because we're going to use the Big Mac Daddy. And they have the mini waffle maker, square, round. They have heart shaped for Valentine's Day. They have four leaf clover if you're Irish. They got everything. They're about $10 to $12. And um, it's a great way to do some cooking for one um, if you don't have access to a kitchen. <laughs> Iced coffee. Oh my God. Mondo. Mondo just stepped into it over here. No hazelnut, no um, pumpkin spice, and no iced coffee. But he says, do your thing, Miss Maggie. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. So if you've uh, used a George Foreman grill, you know how these work. I try to clean them as soon as I'm done using them, but when they're still hot, sometimes it's like, so I'm just gonna wipe them down. This one is what I'm going to use for our sandwiches. So this is the Big Mac Daddy. Um, you can get the one that does one at a time or four at a time. So we're gonna do the four at a time. And we're going to do our sausage on the grill and we're going to do our eggs on the griddle. So. Just trying to get them super clean before I um, plug them up. Plus, you know, when you turn them on and they get hot, psh, whatever was on there, it's burnt to a crisp now. All right, so, but all the equipment on the cooking shows looks so pristine. So I'll try and do well by y'all. Let me do this over the sink. It's got those crispy edges on there. <laughs> waffles or pancakes you don't know what you like more we use the flat one for the maggie cakes so if you are team pancake find the pancake emoji and put it in the chat if you are team waffles uh find the waffle emoji and put it in the chat i want to know what you guys like today we are doing the waffle but you know i'll make maggie cakes for you anytime And if you like both, put both in the chat. All right, so we've got our griddle. Wait a second, how is this gonna work? I only have two outlets. Let's get started with our batter, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna plug this up. Let's get started since we haven't started yet. Diana is team pancakes. Mondo is team both. All right, so just like a George Foreman, the light goes red um, to warm up and then green when it's at temperature. Y'all, if it's just me, I don't wait for anything to preheat. I just put it on there. But I'm going to try and act like I am teaching y'all. Um, all right. As far as the sausage, it's just going to be pretty straightforward. So we're going to go ahead and plug this up. These are sausage patties that I got in the grocery uh, giveaway box. So I don't know, just regular <laughs> Caudel is team both. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook. We'll do four just directly on the uh, griddle. I didn't even turn it on to preheat. I'm not worried about that. They're already cooked. We just want to get them nice and sizzling. So let that do its thing. We'll get this going. Um, since Alex is here, I guess I could do regular cheese for him. I'll save my goat's cheese. Okay, so uh, Mondo loves the George Foreman appliances. I love it. Diana is, uh, it looks like, is that waffles? Y'all, I'm old, I can't see. Oh, that's a waffle, I'm sorry. Okay, Diana is team waffles. Yes, ma'am, you got it. Okay, so if you remember the thumbnail, I'm trying to remember it was waffle. I'm trying to remember the order, y'all. I try to recreate these thumbnails. All right, so this is what we're going to make. 
So we're gonna do waffle on top and then cheese and then sausage and then egg and then waffle. Okay, so as far as the sliced cheese, I'm just gonna go get the regular like Kraft sliced cheeses for Alex. This is what I'm going to use to stay dairy free. So this one came from Whole Foods. Uh, this is the only place that I've been able to find the sliced goat's cheese. I could probably take the block and slice it myself. I'm not trying to do that. So I buy this whenever I need it for sandwiches. Whenever I need it for melting, that's when I shred it. Okay. So I've got one already open, but um, this could be a substitute for you all. We've got our waffle batter here ready to go as soon as this light turns green. We're going to do our eggs over here. I only have two outlets, so let's get our um, waffles done and our sausage is starting to sizzle. Let me go get cheese for Alec. Y'all know what this is. I keep this in the kid's fridge, so we'll make his sandwich with this. Let me go ahead and get two plates out. All right, and then as far as eggs, I'm gonna do my eggs in the griddle. Um, I saw this recipe for a fried egg in the griddle. It is so good. It uses a little bit of heavy cream and a little bit of Parmesan, and it makes it like a, like a French egg. All right, so our green light has come on. All right, I'm not gonna spray. See, I'm already getting the facial. Um, it's already heated up. I'm not gonna spray because when the cheese melts down, it gives a lot of oil to non-stick anyway. So our batter is eggs, cheese, maple, pumpkin spice sweetener, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit on each waffle. And then I'm gonna spread it out. I just make sure everybody gets, you know, the same amount, kind of. So we have four equal bread slices. I need my spatula. <laughs> all right, and then I'm gonna smooth it out because we want it to go all the way to the edge and give me a nice round piece of waffle sandwich bread. We don't want any holes in it. And this big, big daddy has these little channels here for overflow, which is nice, or kitchen snacks. Hey, Mona's here. Thank you all for being here. Please drop your channel. Oh, I forgot Maya's got a YouTube channel. Um, who else has got a YouTube channel? You guys are always here supporting me, so I want to support you. Grabbing my spatula. We don't want to waste. Ingredients are expensive. All right. This one is a little bit light, so let's give him some extra love. Smooth it out to the side. All right. So this will cook and then it'll turn green when it's done. I like it a little extra crispy, so we'll check it and then keep going. All right, I think our sausage is, it's coming along. I want a little bit darker. It was already cooked. We're just warming it up. And you all have permission. Hi, Monarch Travel. Feel free to join us over on YouTube if you want to see the side-by-side. -side. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. If you guys have a business, if you have a YouTube channel, if your kids are behaving, feel free to shout it out. You're here supporting me, and so I definitely want to support you. So Maya is um, health and wellness and bodybuilding, I believe. Mondo has a YouTube channel. Mondo's channel is Parental Advisory. Uh-oh. <laughs> What can we find over there, Mondo? Caudel is here, Team Spatulas. <laughs> All right, so let's move our, um, let's move over to the next sausage. Let's get our. All 
I know this is one at a time, but it's fine. Ouch. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and cook all of our little sausages. Nothing fancy, just a sad breakfast sausage, but we'll cover this with foil so it doesn't get too cold. Mona has a new channel. Yeah, let us know what you guys talk about. Mona talks about workouts, recipes, family stuff, and more. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna cover our sausage and just cook all four of them. We'll set that here. All right, so our light has gone off on the um, waffle maker. So let's take a look at our waffles. Ah, Mondo's channel, he says he talks about sports and real life and music. I love it. Y'all, please check out Mon Mondo's channel. Please check out Mona's channel. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Ah, Diana is subscribing. Thank you all for supporting. Mondo is team specialist too. All right, let's see how our waffles look. Not bad. They're nice. I'm not going to lift it up, but y'all can see the sizzling action going on. Um, I like a little bit darker, so I'm going to let them go for a couple more minutes, but our sandwich bread is almost done. All right. I think I want to unplug it. Let's get started on these eggs. Okay, so this recipe I saw online, I'll see if I can find it for y'all. Uh, thank you, Mondo's gonna check out the channels. Uh, Mona is selling her, uh, selling, sharing her kids have a channel. Love the kids' channels. They recreated one of my recipes, I loved it. Okay, let's get the, um, the cream and the, I'll just use the goat's cheese that I have that shredded already. Manchego, hey. All right, sausage is coming along. I think waffles are looking good. I think I think I'm just going to unplug that and move it over to the side carefully. No. All right, so I'll see if I can find the recipe for y'all, but I'm just going to make a quick uh, egg for Alex. I'm just gonna crack. I don't wanna give him the goat's cheese because I don't wanna hear about it. Oh yeah, thank you all. I'm keep going in the chat. I'm just trying to get everything coming along for the egg. Um, All right, so from the kid's fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and make Alex's first. This is just regular Parmesan from Kraft, so full dairy. I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the griddle. Um, if I'm using cheese, I don't necessarily do uh, any oil because once it gets hot, it's going to release some oil. All right, this sausage is done. Let's get the other one going. And then I'm going to crack a whole egg in here directly onto, make a little cheese egg. I'm coming. I see your question. One second. Get an egg. We're making a sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and crack the yolk. And then if you have half and half, let me see if I have half and half. But it's not going to eat it all. What? What you 
right, you can do a little heavy whipping cream or I got this from the guest room. You all know that I'm an Airbnb hostess. Put a little bit of cream in with the eggs, salt and pepper. All right, let's get the waffles out. I'm going to come up to the comments. I, I see it. One second. Oh, all right. Let's take our waffles out. Yeah, I love the color. I'm going to let them crisp a little bit. Oh, Mondo's here from that dude named Dave. Yes. Hashtag mastermind. Love it. Love it. All right, I'm going to take our waffles out just so that they can kind of crisp up a little bit. <coughs> so y'all can see we've got our waffles again. This is egg and cheese. A little extra needs to be taken off. Oh, yes. The, ooh, yes, Diana. The only thing you need for the waffles that you have to have, the ingredients, yes. Y'all, these taste amazing. I just picked off a little piece here because we have that vanilla and that maple in there. The only two ingredients, egg and the melting cheese of your choice. Yes, yes, and yes. Now, if you want to make them sweet, you can do the, um, what's it called? The vanilla. All right, let's see how this egg, the eggs cook fast. So our egg is cooking along in there. The cheese and the cream makes it so good. All right, let me make Alex's sandwich. Sausage is done. All right, let's look at our thumbnail. I'm coming to y'all's comments. One second. So waffle on the top and then cheese. Well, let's go from the bottom. Waffle on the bottom and then egg. All right, so we're going to go with waffle on the bottom. I should have got it a little bit more centered and then egg and then the sausage and then the cheese. We'll give him this hot one. Sausage and then for the kiddo, just the sandwich cheese. Y'all know I'm going to use the goat's cheese, but I don't want to hear about it. I don't like goat's cheese. So the kids get the regular stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I've got a recipe I'll show you. And then another waffle. All right. So I'm going to cut it in half and serve it with some syrup on the side and let Alex have at it. Let me go ahead and cook the other egg really quick and I'll show you guys the recipe. It's so good. It's a beautiful French egg. I need a moment. Oh, I almost feel like we need extra. I'm cooking all the sausage. I'll give him that on the side. All right, let me go ahead and feed the gong gong syrup. So for the kiddos, the regular stuff, so log cabin. Y'all know I'm not using this, but I'll show you guys all. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. Alex is not really big on sweet, so just a little bit for dipping if you want to. All right. And you could warm it up if you want to. I gotta go do my egg. We'll let the taste tester tell you what he thinks. We're going to cut it in half. Probably should have put it on a cutting board, sorry. All right, looking good. So there's your waffle sandwich with your egg, cheese. Oh, Alex, you want to come try this? Mm. <laughs> so this is for the gong gong. Oh, All, right. gong gong. All right. 
can you come take a t taste and then move? Because I'm feeding you first and then I'm going to make mine. But well, this is your... <sighs> oh, yeah. I took the side by side off. Mondo says, yeah. Food. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Food. Well, I put some syrup on the side for dipping if you wanted it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. All right. I get to have my Tell moment. Oh, yeah. Your homework has to be done. I said I get to have my moment. Your moment. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to look at the recipe for Caudill. Tell them what it tastes like. A McDonald's McGriddle. Really? It tastes like a McGriddle? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. Cheese. Yeah. Okay, you can take your plate to the table, please. I need to make one for Is me. Normal syrup? Yeah, that's regular syrup. It's not the sugar-free stuff. Mm. So you tasted it without the syrup first, right? Mm hmm Okay. Rating? Eight out of six. Eight out of six? Okay, step aside. I found the recipe. All right. Gotta love the kids, y'all. Do you want an extra piece of sausage? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Here, you can have this. All right. Okay. All right. I'm coming, y'all. I found the recipe for you, Kada. Raise the... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Sometimes when I'm heads down doing this, I'm gonna scroll back to all of your comments, but I'm just getting the last piece of sausage on here. Um, But yeah, from the kiddo. So he has a chaffle, but he has real cheese and uh, real syrup. So I'm going to make my version dairy-free and um, sugar-free. Okay, so this is what I found. Caudel, this is for you. Y'all were asking about these French eggs. Uh, you can do this on the stove or you can do this. Do you have anything else? It was good. It was good? Mm -hmm. All right, did you get some on your shirt? Do you need to go check? Okay, so Caudel, this is for you for the eggs. All right, let me find. Y'all know these uh, reels. They just go over and over fast. I'm going to let it restart, and then I'm going to play it for you. This is with the Dash Mini Griddle. So she's making her French eggs. I'm going to try and get it to the beginning. Hungry man? Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, these eggs are going to change your life. Grab your mini dash skillet, throw down some Parmesan cheese, then an egg, then drizzle with some heavy cream, about one to two teaspoons. Once you're done with that, add some more shredded parm on top, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and close that bad boy up. You are going to freak at how delicious this is, and it will change the way you eat eggs forever. I promise. It's really good. You get okay, that? Okay, guys, so for you, Caudel, what I'm going to do, all right, let's go ahead and turn off the sausage. I'll put the other two on here just to warm. So we're going to do, it's unplugged, just leaving it there to warm. I'm going to drop this link in the chat for you all. So you can have it, Caudel. And this is coming from Mandy Lee Mitchell. So give me one second, and then we're going to make it. Oh, not that one. I need to go to my live stream. Okay, so Caudel, I just dropped the link for you in the chat so everybody can have it. So you saw what she made. This gives you like a really nice... Okay, so Caudel, I just dropped the link for you in the chat. So <sighs> Welcome to my struggle cooking class. So, um, yes. I'm just going to put my waffles back in here just so they can stay a little bit warm everything is done i got my sliced cheese ready 
Okay, so she used Parmesan cheese. I don't eat uh, dairy, but this is what I use for Alex. So if you have Parmesan cheese, you notice, notice hers was shaved. You can do shaved or shredded. The um, Parmesan cheese gives you like a salty sharpness to it. Mona, we're still working on our block. This is my Manchego cheese. So this is my substitute for Parmesan, y'all. I've been working on this forever. This came from Sands Club. So Manchego cheese is made from sheep's milk. So Manchego is a city in Spain. You can see it comes off of the wheel and I've been shaving at it over here. So I'm going to shred some Manchego in here. If you like a dry, salty, aged uh, cheese, but you can't have cow dairy, this is a great substitute for you. You can get the big one at Sands Club. Or you can get a small one like this at Publix, boar's head. But either way, it comes off a wheel. I just cut off that wax on the side. And that's what I'm going to use as my Parmesan here. So if you have a cheese shaver, that's fine. I'm just going to shred it by hand. Let's move that directly onto the griddle. And it gives a nice little crust on the cheese. My griddle is on. That's why it's going... It's melting right away. So start with Parmesan if you can have it. So I put Manchego there and then I, what does she do? She cracked an egg, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and crack a whole egg directly onto the griddle. She did not crack her yolk, so I'll leave it intact. Sometimes I like to crack it. Um, all right and then she poured heavy whipping cream i didn't have regular heavy whipping cream for alex so i used half and half but this is what i'm using um oh thank you caudel silk makes a coconut heavy whipping cream so this is my substitute to stay dairy free but this gives it a creaminess you just pour that directly onto the egg and then I think she said some more Parmesan, so a little bit more Manchego on top. So you have that crust on the top and the bottom and then salt and pepper. So it just takes your egg. You can do a regular fried egg, that's fine. You can do this um, on the stove too. You just have to flip it. And so now we're gonna close this up. Again, the little mini dash is like 12 bucks. And then we're gonna assemble mine and we're done. All right, so let's put everything away. Sausage is done, waffles are done. And I promise I'll come to y'all's questions. Uh, whatever questions you have, whatever you need me to repeat, um, I'll scroll back or you can just repost it. We're cleaning up. Monroe said it looked like Hungry Man. It's a game changer. Oh, you're going to love it. Yes. So that's what I do, you guys. That's how I'm your substitute. I take recipes that I would want to eat, and I add my dairy-free, sugar-free, gluten-free ingredients, and then we see how we like it. Hey, Michelle, thank you for being here so much. Michelle, if you want to hop on over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. You can see the side-by-side. -side. I'm about to plate. Michelle is another sister in the community with channels and businesses and all kinds of amazing things. All right, so it's sizzling up here. We're gonna let it crust just a little bit more. But I'll unplug it, I think we're done, y'all. Let's go ahead and plate, shall we? Cause, uh, hungry. All right, so. Um, yeah, let me get a plate, oh, maple syrup, or let me find what syrup I'm gonna use. All right, 
I've been wanting to try this. I got this because someone said it's really, really good. So this is our sugar-free maple syrup. So let's go ahead and assemble, shall we? I'm gonna get a cutting board so it's easy to cut. We'll just serve it on our charcuterie board. A little Coca-Cola cutting board. All right. So this is what we're making. So we need our waffle. And then our egg. Let's go ahead and take that out. It's nice and crispy. Oh, did I put Alexa, set volume to zero. So this could be a regular fried egg or cheese fried eggs. So this is coconut cream and um, manchego. I should have gotten it a little bit rounder, but it just melts the creaminess, y'all. Okay, and then our sausage patty. I wanna put two. And um, okay, am I being greedy? And then sliced cheese. What else? Oh, you like the Coca Cola board? Oh, yeah. I used to work for the Coca Cola company before the pandemic. Great company, great experience. I was an executive, I managed a team that uh, ran the campus services. But you know, y'all, I am so glad. Along with the corporate, the big corporate job comes the big corporate uh, stress. So I am so happy now I work from home in tech and I'm able to eat better. Um, yes, absolutely. All right. So we've got our, I'm going to cut it in half so y'all can see. And we're going to do our sugar-free maple syrup on the side. We'll let that cheese melt a little bit. Let's do our syrup. But I've got so much Coke swag. I used to do career day for the kids and I would always like, ask them questions and then pass out, you know, t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. One second, y'all. Excuse me, allergy season where I live. Okay. And we're gonna do our, where did I put it? Our new syrup. Ah, right here. So this is, um, I got this on Amazon. I haven't used this brand before. One of the home cooks that I follow says that this is a great sugar-free maple syrup. So again, I know Maggie, protect the teeth. I know. But again, you know, this could be a great way to cut calories. I don't know about regular syrup. Y'all can check and see if regular maple syrup. This is five calories and zero sugar. The sugar alcohols don't spike. So this is Maple Grove Farms. All right. So y'all know we need to do our cookbook, <laughs> our cookbook pictures. All right, one second. Let me just move things out of the way. It's hot, so I'm just gonna. I'll clean them better when they cool. So this is an entire meal without a stove top. Even though we love our new stove. 
sometimes you're traveling. <laughs> Kardell Kardel says uh, she'd eat it. Just want the pictures to kind of look like it wasn't a dumpster fire. All right, we're gonna take a quick picture because y'all, I just jump in here and then I'm like, oh, but it was good. All right. Y'all will see my pictures on my Instagram, on my um, little food styling, on my YouTube community tab. Some with the flash, some without the flash. Get up on it, get close to it. Try to show everything, the different layers. Sorry, y'all. All right. Oh, you've been waiting for me to try it? All right. Our first time trying the Maple Grove Mm, it's good and I don't like maple you now like I'm gonna eat mine may I you may all right so we've got our double I should take a bite without right I honestly think it's better without the syrup can I have my moment <laughs> well We are all done. Thank you, Mom. Oh my God. I love the sharpness of the goat's cheese because, and the manchego, it adds that punch because sausage and everything is very sweet and kind of mild. Y'all, this is incredible. Mm. Oh, Mondo. <laughs> Y'all, it's so good. It really is better than a McGriddle. A McGriddle is good, but it's the crispy edges on the waffle. Those crispy edges on that waffle give you the texture. I like it with the sugar-free syrup, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You could just make these chaffles and do a four stack with syrup as a waffle stack. If you're vegetarian, you could just do egg and cheese. Take the sausage out. You could do turkey sausage. You could do pork sausage. You could do ham and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese. I need a moment. We're dancing. Y'all, I'm not even trying to be funny. When I tell you this is so good, oh my God. Okay. I keep forgetting I'm taking etiquette and elegance classes. Clearly they are needed. But y'all, in all seriousness, this is excellent. You could take the sausage out, but see our waffle? Again, I know Diana, you were asking, it's just uh, egg and cheese, but see it gives us that crispy, waffle texture putting the maple and the cinnamon <laughs> mondo likes to dance and <laughs> praise dance i know right <clears throat> putting that maple flavor 
and cinnamon and nutmeg into that chaffle batter, you get a really good sweetness in, and the, van oh, the pumpkin spice, right? Into the waffle batter. You can do it with just cheese and eggs, but y'all, looks delicious. It is so good. Mm. Mm. Looking at this board, you can make like little waffle sandwiches and like cut them into like quarters, like little bite size. If you're doing a party or a kid's event or whatever, you could do different varieties. You could make a whole slew of chaffles. Oh, it's so good. Mona, you will like the syrup. It's so good. Um, you could make a slew of chaffles, just the batter, and you can make them down and freeze them. I know Michelle does that. I don't know if Michelle is with us. Michelle makes her own waffles for her kids so that you know what's going into them. And then you can put just the chaffles in the freezer, like in a bag in the morning, the kids can get their chaffles, <clears throat> put them in the toaster and reheat them up. So you can make your own Eggo waffles if you wanted to. So you can make them in advance and that way you don't have to make everything fresh. I like making everything fresh for you all. One, I just want to, it tastes better. And you know, Part of my health and wellness journey has been making food that I want to eat, looking forward to eating it. But uh, you can definitely um, take some shortcuts and get your chaffles made in advance. That way, all you have to do is throw a quick egg on. And y'all, this was turkey sauce. This was, you know, sausage already um, made. I just got the round ones. Oh, God. Mm. Letting it sit there and sop up the syrup. Must you say something? Come on. What is it? What does it taste like? It's amazing. I'm asking you since you had two different things. Do you want more? No. Yeah. Yes? There's more sausage over there. I hate sausage. In the oh over here. This one that has this one of them has sausage in it. You can have it. I can't. Yes, Caudel says, I'm imagining enough made to grab in a pinch through the week. Absolutely. Y'all can make the chaffles. You can make varieties. Meal prep. You can make varieties, meaning you could make some plain, um, just egg and cheese. You can make some sweet with vanilla, maple, cinnamon, and nutmeg for a waffle or a waffle sandwich. You can make some savory. Um, just make your egg and cheese batter and you don't even have to put the seasoning in the batter. You could do a batch on the waffle maker and sprinkle on your like oregano or Italian seasoning, whatever. So have pizza crust ready. And then, you know, if you have grain sensitivities or you're trying to watch carbs or whatever, got kids that need to avoid gluten. Absolutely. Y'all, I'm letting this thing sit here when I tell you, when I tell you. It is so good. And even as it cools, <clears throat> yeah, just get a whole tray of eggs and buy the shredded cheese. Save yourself time or use the, um, uh, what's it called? The salad shooter, y'all. It's just straight down. Idea. Yes, Alex. You know, like those circle eggs McDonald's has? Mm hmm. I, I figured out a DIY to make it. Mm hmm. You cook a really big egg in like a really big pan, get a circle cookie, cut, cookie cutter yeah, and cut it out. And so, meal prep. All right, if you need to have multiple circle eggs, Alex has a hack for you, but I have seen baking sheet eggs. You could do the eggs that we just talked about. All right, anything else? Nothing. Okay, can I have my, we're, we're about to wrap up, right, five minutes. Since Alex has tips for you all, you can also do the French eggs, the ones that we made in a pan. So get a sheet tray.
Sorry, usually I'm just cooking for one or two, but get one of these big sheet trays. This is a half one, but get a big sheet tray if you need to do this for the family. Sprinkle your Parmesan cheese down and then just crack your eggs into the tray. Sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese or sheep's cheese or whatever dry, salty aged cheese. Okay, you don't want like an American cheese, you want a sharp cheese. Sprinkle that on top. Pour your heavy cream or drizzle your heavy cream or coconut cream for me. And then salt and pepper all over a whole tray of eggs. Put it under the broiler or put it in the oven. If you need to do this for the family, you can have your chaffles already ready. You know, do your sausage on the griddle, you know, or a big pan. And then just slice your cheese, assemble, let everybody get their own little syrup of choice or dipping sauce of choice. You can make this for the family. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'm at the bottom of the bowl. And I mm. am greedy. It's falling apart, but it is so good. One moment. Mm. All right, I'm going to scroll back and see what I missed, and then we're going to dismiss so we can go to service. Now is not a good time to wash all of the apples. Kind of, kind of, kind of. They won't let me be great. But anyway, let me scroll back and see what I missed. Oh, thank you, Lona. I'm glad this is helpful, y'all. I mean, that's this is how this community is going to be. Caudell said it in the last stream, and I never really thought about it. I know I call myself a substitute teacher. Someone came up with that name because I'm always doing these substitutes. Um, but you all, I by no means am an expert. We can all learn and get better. So if you guys have ideas or stuff you want me to try, please. I do have a teacher supply list. My Amazon wish list is uh, out. If you guys have different um, ingredients that you want to send my way, we can unbox them and try them in a live stream. You guys can take a look. It's in the description now. And uh, we have small stuff and big stuff. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Time for the commercial. So let me just scroll back and see if I missed anything. Yes, absolutely. Meal prep. Save yourself time. If you guys work outside of the house and you've got to come home and get something quick, Get your pizza crust, your sauce, your cheese, your pepperoni. Absolutely. Mushroom, veggie, everything. <laughs> Y'all like the dancing? Y'all, that was good. I'm not even going to lie. If you like a McGriddle, you'll love it. Yeah, the maple syrup, hands down. And not all of the sugar-free stuff like tastes good. Y'all know some of it's kind of chemi chemically. And I'll tell you, this one is very good. Oh, sorry, I missed it. The Tasteful Life of C. Denise. We have a new student. Everybody say hello, Denise. Thank you for being here. So you missed the beginning. What type of waffle? It's a two-ingredient chaffle made with egg and cheese. So uh, I'm about to wrap up. You can rewind to maybe about halfway through. I use shredded goat's cheese because I'm dairy-free, but you can use any melting cheese and the eggs of your choice. Cadell says she would eat it. I'll see if I can find y'all some Coke swag. I got so much of it. Uh, I'll see if I can find this cutting board for you. Game changer, you like it? Okay, I think that's where I stopped. Caudel got the link for the cheese eggs. Yeah, and they're really good, y'all. Okay, so 60 second commercial. Thank you all for being here. Maggie, the substitute teacher, has grown because of this community. My channel is only seven months old. Um, I did not know you could earn income on YouTube. Y'all know I'm a proud student of the lead attorney. And when I finished his course on live streaming, I made my own course. Um, I didn't know how this works. And so I put a course together while it was fresh in my mind because I was monetized in four months because of you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm forever grateful. This is absolutely a labor of love for me. But if you have a channel and you're not yet monetized or you're thinking about starting a channel, my course, the regular price is $50. But with the code thanks TLA, you can um, get $15 off. So that brings it down to $35. It's two hours of content broken up over 
15 videos. You can watch them at your own pace. You have lifetime access. I talk about my approach to getting subscribers, to getting the watch hours, applying for the program, things to look for. Um, if it would be helpful, the link is in the description. But either way, we're going to go ahead and dismiss. This has been so much fun. We're going to go to service and uh, I'm going to go to the symphony later today. So if you guys are following me on Instagram or on YouTube community tab, I'll, I'll get you some pictures and the pictures of what we made. Tomorrow is the kids are on fall break. They used to call it Columbus Day when I was growing up. I think it's Indigenous Peoples Day. Whatever it is, they are home. And so I will be cooking again tomorrow. What am I cooking? I don't know. When am I cooking it? I don't know. But if you subscribe and I try to plan in advance, you should get a notification. Hopefully you get notified uh, what I'm making and when I'm making it. Ah, oh, Cardell's been rocking with me from the beginning. Y'all remember how it used to be. All right, Instagram, we're going to go ahead and dismiss. Thank you all so much for being here. And um, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Thank you all so much for being here. And uh, pictures will be posted soon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Classes.